Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Panasonic Q GameCube console, so we'll get straight into it. We'll show you the packaging guys, and then we'll pull it all out and we'll get a closer look. So do let us know down in the comments what you think. If you haven't already guys, do subscribe to the channel. So uh, originally released in 2001 in Japan, and only lasted a couple of years guys, because it wasn't very popular. It's a uh, hybrid system made by Panasonic to um, include the uh, GameCube hardware with a DVD player. So we'll get all the... Uh, Contents out, guys. If you weren't aware, it played CDs, DVDs, and the uh, GameCube game discs, guys. Instead of being a top loader as well, it had the uh, had the um, the tray that would slide out. Okay, so that's our console there, with a few bits and pieces. We'll get rid of the box, guys, just so uh, there's a bit more room. Okay, you've got a couple of handles on top there, guys. Um, you obviously the uh, standard GameCube had the handle at the back. Um, if you are interested, I've unboxed that one on the channel, guys, so you can check out the differences. But uh, here's our console, guys. We'll get straight into that as we've got it unpackaged right now. So there you are. Has um, the uh, tray here that slides out. You can put your discs in, comes forward. You've got the LCD screen on the top here, guys. You've got all your uh, DVD controls across the top as well. Um, we've got the, uh, so again, on the front here, we've got open, close. Then you can select surround, base plus, and game. And you've got your uh, controller ports, your memory card slots, your uh, on and off power, the, um, Dialogue Enhancer, Cinema Mode, and the Game Reset Mode uh, button there as well. On the back, guys, got a uh, few different options. Um, it actually came built in with uh, the Dolby 5.1 as well as a uh, subwoofer um, input. So, uh, But it only worked for the DVD option, unfortunately. So you got your digital AV out, power. Um, you've got your... Uh, audio and uh, visual buttons there as well as the uh, optical there for the uh, DVD and CD to get uh, the uh, better sound out of that guys. As you can see guys, I've got a small little switch here on the back. Um, so this uh, particular console here is modded. So uh, it plays both um, NTSC and, sorry, Japanese and uh, American uh, content. So that's pretty cool. So you flick it up, um, plays Japanese, flick it down and you, you can play your uh, American games guys, so you can play it in English, which is quite nice and handy to have Okay, so we've got our uh, AV cables there. We've got our power adapter there guys And here is the uh, DVD remote that comes included with the uh, system All right, so there's our uh, Panasonic DVD remote guys so it's all in Japanese, um, but pretty generic, pretty standard uh, DVD remote. Okay, moving along, we've got our booklets. Okay, so here would seem to be the, uh, the manual for the uh, actual console guys. Again, all in Japanese, how to set it all up, um, but uh, pretty simple, just plug it in to the uh, corresponding ports on the uh, TV. Bit of advertising there, um, just telling you to um, go to a couple of websites, the Nintendo one and a uh, DVD one. And the final part, guys, is the uh, actual controller. So it came in a uh, grey colour, the uh, Panasonic Q controller. The console pretty much works with every peripheral available for the, um, the Panasonic Q and the GameCube guys. The only one that didn't really fit was the GameCube adapter because um, as you can see on the base guys, we've got a couple of feet. Uh, you've still got all the ports there, but you've got these feet on the uh, bottom there of the Panasonic Q. So the uh, standard GameCube, uh, sorry, the uh, Game Boy player adapter uh, doesn't fit and Panasonic made their own one for the uh, console. Okay, so here is our controller guys. Uh, as you can see, it says the Panasonic cross there, but all the other 
buttons are the same, guys. Um, so basically, if you're not familiar with the uh, GameCube controller, you've got your uh, analogs, uh, mainly your uh, moving and camera, D-pad, A, B, X, and Y, start in the middle there, and your uh, triggers on top here, guys, as well as your Z button there. All right, uh, that end would then plug into the front of the system, and you can start playing your games. All right, guys, well, uh, that's everything included in today's box. So like I said earlier, please do let us know down in the comments what you think, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're gonna conclude this part of the video. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we'll do the next giveaway, so do subscribe, just running for that, and we'll catch you next time.